o'clock. Four hours ago, we were in Los Angeles. Ah, uh, nothing ever happens on this trip. <laughs> San Francisco. Mrs. Chambers will be right out, Charlie. Wait for her. Yes, sir. Sorry, Mr. Chambers, just sold the last one. Oh, not to Killer Delmar, I hope. <laughs> no, sir. I have a lower for you. Well, that'll have to do. I still don't see why you can't make this trip with me. You can do this job much better alone. Oh, oh. Mon cher ami, vous êtes très, très madera. Oh, mon cher ami, je vous aime beaucoup. Oh, très bien, très bien. I wish I were going with you, dear. Yes, so do I. You know, we haven't had a trip since our honeymoon. Well, we'll have a trip one of these days. Don't you worry. But I do worry. Think of that valuable jewelry you're carrying. Oh, I've been carrying jewelry for years and nothing ever happened to me. Besides, if you sure. I know. But somehow I'm uneasy every time you go away. Space heavy, sir? Oh, uh... Lower six, car twelve. Lower six, car twelve. Who are you putting an act on for? That's Chambers over there getting an eyeful. You'd better beat it. Oh, I get it. I'll scram. Sure you've got everything? Oh, yes. Yeah. You'll write me. Sure, I'll write you every day. The last time you went away, I only had one letter in two weeks. Remember? Uh, oh, yes, but, well, I was terribly busy. I... Well, this will have to do you till I get back. Écrivez-moi, souvent. Oh, oui? mon chéri, oh, très bien que tu dis la fois. Oh, mamma mia. Well, goodbye, dear. You better run along. The train will be leaving in a minute. But I... Now, don't worry. Everything will be all right. Goodbye. All about the killer! Killer loves the city! Read about it! Read about the killer's escape! Read about it! All about the killer's escape! Killer Delmar escape! Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. Yes, how's it going? Swell. Sure, any paper I work for is bound to be out front. Hi, yes, sir. Yes, sir. How do you like my scoop? All right. All right. Say, listen, when I get news, it's so hot they have to put it on a spit. Say, don't you ever stop patting yourself on the back? Sure, when I'm sunburned. Listen, honey, how would you like to have dinner with the best little reporter in town? I love it. Where is he? Well, you're looking right at him. Jimmy Hawley in person, not a picture. Ah, uh, you news guys are all alike. The last time I had a date with one, he left me flat while he was out chasing police cars. Oh, not me, honey. My day's work is done and I punch the clock. Now, first I'll take you to dinner, then to a picture show. What do you say? No. Oh, come on. Can't you see that nice, thick, juicy steak smothered in onions and mushrooms, French fried potatoes, coffee? Apple pie a la mode. You got me, boy. But the only reason I'm going is because I'm hungry. When do we eat? Now, get your hat. Watch this for me, will you, Pearl? I got a sucker. ACPL, Los Angeles Police Department. Calling cars. Attention, please. Cars 15, 16, 17, 18. Go to Union Station. Pick up officers on your way. Killer Delm reported in vicinity. Union Depot ahead. Step on it. Attention, cars 15, 16, 17, 18. Go to Union Station. Pick up officers on your way. Killer Delmar reported in vicinity. Killer Delmar. 
Delmar reported in the vicinity. Delmar, eh? Yes. Come on, step on it. You. Gin and ginger ale. Make it two. Press the old one nine one. Joe, you two get around that side. Hurry up now. Hey, Joe, what's down there? What's the post? Uh, city editor. Hello? Well, hello, Chief. Jimmy, Union Station. Say, I've got a hot tip on Delmar. Whole space for a scoop. Yeah, attaboy, Jimmy. Give it to me quick. I want to make the next edition. Okay. Around here? No. Hey, come here. What do you look for? Huh? What are you looking for? Oh, well, uh, I lost a dime. Oh, yeah? You did? Where? Over there. Oh, well, what are you looking here for? Well, uh, there's more light here. Oh, well, I'm with you, pal. Stick him up! Come out of there! Don't you watch what you're doing. Stop following me. Sure. Thank you. Uh, by reservation. Your name, please. Martin. Martin. Yes, sir. How much is it? Lower in car 12, 450. Thank you. What are all these policemen doing here? They're looking for Delmar, the man that escaped the jailhouse. Well, if they watched him when they had him, they wouldn't have to be looking for him now. Yes, sir. Hmm. Two tickets here, ma'am. Who's the other passenger? My husband. The coffin's in the baggage car. I'm sorry. Lower Fort, car 12. You'll have to check the dog with the baggage man. He'll see if he gets on the train. Well... Right this way. Oh, thank you. It's tough for a woman to make a trip like this. It's tough for anybody to trip on this railroad.
Hey, buddy, I hope you don't think I was trying to ditch you. Oh, no, I know you wouldn't do that to me. <laughs> Say, listen, do me a favor, will you? Sure. Go find a cop and tell him there's a drunk annoying you. A drunk annoying you? Where was the cop? There's one over there. Hey, officer. I'll tell him. Then. Officer, there's a drunk annoying my friend, and I want to stop. Because if there's anything I hate is a, an intoxicated person. So do I. Good. Goodbye, now. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. No. Oh. Oh, Come on, chick. Let's go. Oh, no. Goodbye, Mom. Tough on Chick's mother. Chick who? Chick Lewis. He's the guy that squealed on Killer Delmar. Say, oh. that kid don't know how lucky he is. The sooner he's in the pen, the safer he'll be. Take a look through that baggage room, Ed. Any luck, Cap? Not yet, Jimmy. Looks like it's colder in Kelsey. The old 191. City editor. Hello? Hello, hi. Yeah, did you get it, Jimmy? Say, it looks like a bum steer. They only thought he was going to Frisco. Yeah, if I were you, Jimmy, I'd hop that train for Frisco. What for? Look at the scenery? And besides, the cops have been all through it. Say, listen, Wise, did it ever occur to you that he might be on that train in disguise? Sure. He might be made up as a mattress and hiding in one of the uppers. And besides, did it ever occur to you that this is Saturday night and I'm not going to Frisco? Goodbye. Hello? Hello? There you are, Palsy. I got all fixed. I saw the cops and you're not going to be bothered with drunks anymore. What do we do now? I'm going to pour you on that train. Come on. <laughs> I'm thinking. Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah, I'm a little nervous, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's that gang again. They cut it out. Come on, back home. Come on, let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Thank you so much. Goodbye. 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 Hello. 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 There we are. Hey, George, take care of him now. Yes, sir. Oh, pal. Oh, I'm awfully sorry. That was a mistake. Oh, lady, if that's your idea of a mistake, I'd like to have one that's on the level. This is the funniest thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, no, it's the hat that makes me look funny. You ought to see me in a Panama. <laughs> I was just kissing the boys goodbye. Oh, and you wanted to get in an extra practice shot. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> no, I thought you were one of my friends. Well, I am. That is, I'd like to be. I'd better be getting on. Oh, are you going on this train, too? Why, no. But it's a good idea. I'll be seeing you.
Crestview 0191. City editor. Hello? Huh? Say, I've changed my mind. I'm taking the grand for Frisco. Yeah, well, it sounds to me like there's a woman in the case somewhere. Yes, I mean, no, no. Yeah, now I know there's a woman in it. Well, anyway, I'll send you a wire and explain everything. Why, you low-down, ungrateful, no-good, cheap, skate, one-horse reporter... You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Yes, you. Hey, now, wait a minute. I don't want to tell you one of the funny stories I have heard. in there about contract bridge. I'd much rather just look at the ads. They're so clever. Going to San Francisco? Why, yes. Sort of a pleasure trip? Something like that. How does your husband feel about your going away and leaving him? There's no such animal. I'm quite unattached. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes, it is. I mean this. Oh, well, it's rather pretty. I don't like the way those square-cut emeralds are set. How do you know they're emeralds? Well, it's very simple. They're the only stones of that shape valuable enough to put in such a bracelet. You sound as if you knew a lot about it. Well, Jewelry's my business. How very interesting. I'm going to show you some really beautiful pieces. Now, there's a beautiful bracelet. Look at the way those emeralds are set. Yes, I love it. Oh, don't come. <laughs> Hello, Jimmy. Lose something? Yeah, and she's beautiful. Well, you might find her up ahead. There's a couple of pips up there. Okay, Mac. Good luck, Chick. I'll need it. Got a cigarette? Yeah. Keep them. Drunk. Yeah, me too. But look, if you straighten up, nobody will notice you. Go ahead. And look, be careful of that there turn around because it's very dangerous. It's very... Hey, pal, where are you? Here's your boyfriend right here. Oh. Oh, hello. Hello. You thought you weren't going to see me again, didn't you? I never disappoint. Are you tired, honey? No. Are you? Yes. And no. You know, if we weren't married, we'd be breaking one of the commandments. Which one? Well, it's not the one about killing somebody. <laughs> Whose little yum yum is who, huh? Why, yours, you silly little baby. <laughs> Mama's little sugar pie. Oh, baby, kiss Papa. <laughs> Everybody in this strange crazy. I know he's in here somewhere. 
Oh. Excuse me, that's my what fault. Yeah, you can't Why do you? that to hey, me. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Now you wait a minute. I can take it, I can dish it out, and I can dish it out. Now, uh, don't worry, I'll take care of it. Sure, I'll take care Come of it. Come on. That's, that's all right, pal. Right. You and I have been friends for five hundred years. I'm sorry that happened. But shall we go into the diner? Oh, yeah. Come on now. Iron yourself out. Sure. Oh, hello. How is your wife? I have no wife. What a lucky woman she is. Oh. You won't be bothered anymore, miss. Bothered? By whom? Over somebody. Anybody. Well, thank you for taking such an interest in me. But I don't believe we've been properly... Introduced? Oh, that's easy. I'm Mrs. Hawley's boy, Jimmy. Miss Hawley? Oh, yes, you must know Mrs. Hawley. My mother. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, she always told me to be sure to make friends with nice people. Don't you think I'm being a good boy? Very. Well, now that we are properly introduced, suppose we clear all formalities. You can call me Jimmy, and I'll call you... Alice. Okay, Alice. Okay, Jimmy. Okay, America. Well, there's my little palsy. You... Oh, so you found the wife, eh? Hey, wait a minute, oh, wait a minute. Oh, you don't understand. Oh, yes, I understand, lady. I'm a married man myself, and say, you got the greatest little husband in the world. You know, I know this guy all my life. We were buddies in the war together. I know him better than I know my own brother. He, hey, what is your name? Holly. Holly? Mrs. Holly? Meet Mr. Holly. Dinner's now being served in the dining. Dinner is now being served in the dining. Oh, room. shall we dine, my dear? The mm. Hollies always dine at eight. Sure, we're going to dine now, eh? Oh, you'll excuse me, but I'm dining with my wife. Your wife. <laughs> oh, my wife is in Frisco. <laughs> what are you crying for? You're going to Frisco? Yeah, that's why I'm crying. <laughs> I got the best little wife in all of my life. your dinner, Mrs. Hawley? Yes, thanks. And if you wish, Mrs. Hawley? Yes. I wish you'd stop calling me Mrs. Hawley. All right, Miss Murray. How did you know my last name? Well, I can name everybody in this car for you. Oh, I see. A mind reader. No, just the star reporter on the Gazette. <laughs> you see that man sitting uh, on the aisle two tables forward? You know, the one that's trying to win the decision over the state. Oh, yes. His name is Martin. And the little lady in mourning at the table just ahead of him is Mrs. Leonard. Oh, you are smart, aren't you? Yes, yes. <laughs> and the chap sitting right across the aisle from the uh, grouchy individual owns the largest jewelry store in our fair city. His name is Chambers. And that attractive lady with him, who is she? Well, at the present moment, she's known as Eileen Aylesworth. I bet there's one thing you don't know. Yes? What's that? You're pretty fresh. Say, I could have told you that, too, if you'd asked me. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, what are you doing on this train? Well, I was supposed to get a story on Killer Delmar, but I've been sidetracked. I'm now on the trail of a desperate woman, a siren, a vampire of the worst kind. Well, what did she do? She attacked a man in the railroad scene. Really? Well, that is, uh, she kissed him. <laughs> four other fellows. Well, the four other guys don't count. Oh, no? 
I don't see much of a newspaper story in that. Well, I do. She wrecked this man's life. In fact, he changed all of his plans and followed her. He went all the way to Frisco just to be with her. Oh, the newspapers won't print a story like that. Why well, should they will? If we write a happy ending. <laughs> Have some more coffee, Mrs. Hawley? No, thanks. You know, women are like diamonds. You can always tell the real from the artificial if you examine them closely. With a glass? Well, sometimes a glass helps. <laughs> There's a lot of taste being set in platinum these days. You know, I make such marvelous imitations now. I don't think I'd know one from the other. Oh, oh, yes, you would. I'm going to show you a bracelet. You know those were real stones. Oh, that's, that's the loveliest thing I've ever seen. You notice how evenly and beautifully the stones are cut. Why, it must be worth a fortune. No, it uh, cost a few pennies. Take off these cuffs so I can cut this steak. Would turn you loose with a knife in your hands? <laughs> you think I'm crazy? Pick it up with your fingers. Say, copper, some of these days your heart's gonna swell up to the size of a pea and kill you. Smart guy, ain't you? Maybe some of your mob's on the train. Maybe. Ah, uh, you think it would be safe to give me a spoon? Ginger ale. Oh. Uh, don't you think you better have something to eat first, sir? Gin and ginger ale. Uh, here you are. Here's some nice things right here. Uh, let me take your hat, sir. Just gin and ginger ale. Ma'am, what is it? Oh, I... I just wanted to feed my dog. Certainly. Go right ahead, lady. Thank you. Knives, Miss. Two steak knives, eh? Souvenir hunters again. They'll be the death of me yet. Two more, then, Bone. How come people don't take nothing else but knives? What they gonna do with them? Uh, many things they can do with knives. 
That's right, too. Alice? Oh, Alice? Oh, Alice? Yes? I want to say good night. What, again? Sure, do you care? Oh, I was asleep. Oh, just say good night once again, will you, dear? I will not. Oh, go on. Say good night. No. Nope. Go on. Say good night. No. Nope. Please. Then I can go to sleep. I won't. Oh, say good night so we can all go to sleep. Mr. Martin? Mr. Martin? Yes, yes, what is it? Good night. Uh...
Say, hmm? what's the idea of locking that door? I didn't lock no door, boy. What's that? I don't know, boy. Come on, you better go and see. Huh? Come on. Look out. Oh, Lordy, Lordy. One time I speak. <laughs> Are you hurt? Untie my hands. My prisoner got away. Got away? I just come from up front. I didn't see anyone. Then he's still in here. I'm going to search this car. Wake up, everybody. Oh, see, it's all ready. Turn on the lights. I want everybody up out of their berths. You stay here. What's the idea of waking me out of a sound sleep? The idea is I want you to get up. Get your clothes on. Sorry, lady, you'll have to get up. Come on. Come on, Jimmy, get your clothes on. Okay. Sorry, lady. Get up out of there. Wake up in there. Wake up. Get in. What's that Ryan might do or anything? Get your clothes on. Please, please. Come on, come on. I'm up. I'm sorry. Just a minute. There's no one in the rest of the berth. No, well, I'm going to take a look just the same. Search the drawing room up ahead. All right. Yes? Sorry, folks, but you'll have to get out. Get out? Yep. Now, what's the matter? Convicts escaped and left to search every room. But I'm thinking, Doctor, there's nobody in here but us. Why, no. Sorry, but it's orders. You'll have to get up in front. Well, it's all right, dear. It's all right now. I'll take care of you. Everybody's up, officer. Come on, wake up in there. Anyone got smelling salts? Well, I have some. Get them. I wonder who could have done it. Oh, 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 I don't know who did it, but I'll get him. Is there a guy? I am. I'm next to him. Everybody in this car is under suspicion. What's the idea of accusing us? What about the fellow who got away from you? I'll ask the questions. Porter, lock that door. You ask them. Conductor, search those cars up ahead. Right. Are well, you all right, Alice? There's been a murder committed. Search those cars up ahead for Chick Lewis. Murder? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Oh, no, that's what we're trying to find out. Come on, folks. Come on, everybody up. Everybody up. What's the matter? Convict escape. Oh, I'll never sleep another wing. Anybody else in there? All right, put them back.
the chick. That knife from the, the dining car. I'll look into that later. Remember, I want no one to leave this car. Conductor, put him in the drawing room. Right. Come on, Porter, pick him up. Give him a hand. Here and watch this body. Well, he don't need to watch it, boss. Listen, there's another one in Law Six. Watch that one too. Hey, listen, Mac. Before you start anything, I've got something important to tell you. Tell me later. But I tell you, it's very important. It can wait. Now that I've got you all together, I'm going to ask you a few questions. What's your name? J.W. Martin. What do you do? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? I'm retired. Did you know the man who was murdered in Lower Six? No. Did you know him? No. No, of course not. What are you doing on this train? I, I'm just going to San Francisco to visit my folks. Oh, yeah? I'll get back to you later. Now, listen. Get this. Whoever killed the man in Lower Six is in this car. And I'm going to find out who did it if i got to keep you here all night. Now, if you're smart, you'll come clean. What were you doing when the murder was committed? Huh? Who, me? Why, I... Why, we... Uh. Come on, you. Wake up. Wake up. What's your name? Gin and Ginger Ale. Come on, sober up. You're not as drunk as you look. Jimmy? Oh, just snooping around. Well, stick around here, Jimmy. I might need you. Okay. This is cold-blooded murder, and I'm going to find out who did it if i got to keep you here all night. Now, if you're smart, you'll come clean. Did any of you know this man? Yes, I knew him. His name was Chambers, a prominent jeweler, and he carried some valuable pieces with him. Pieces of what? Jewelry. Diamonds. Diamonds, eh? Then robbery was the motive. All right. We'll have all the baggage in here. Everybody get their own bag. Go ahead, Jimmy. See that they don't try to pull anything. Okay. Come on, get gone. Consiliari. Get gone. Come on, miss. Come on, you. Wake up. What's the matter? Go up and get your bag. Bag? Go ahead.
everything in here, Jimmy? Yeah. The doctor, frisk his bag. Right. Jimmy, look all through this baggage and see that you don't miss anything. Okay. Where's your baggage? What's the idea? Sorry, I gotta do this, lady. Don't apologize, Arthur. All right. Be a little more careful with my stuff. There's a button off this shirt. Feeling better, Mrs. Hawley? Yes, thanks. Nothing in here, Mac. Why don't you make a thorough search before you say that? Why don't you quit snarling? I did search it. Why'd you stop so suddenly? What do you mean? I'm not sure what I mean. Oh. oh! What have you got to say? Why, I... Well, Mac, I... she doesn't know anything about it. No? Well, what about this? It must have been planted on her. Yeah? Maybe you can tell me who did the planting. Well, I can make a good guess. Start guessing. Well, she was out to rob him. That's a lie. And this man hated him. Chambers was a friend of mine. I thought said you didn't know him. Oh, he knew him all right. Chambers had him thrown out of the Jewelers Association for handling stolen diamonds. Well, what about it? That's not true. He's saying that to protect that girl. I'll check up on that and get back to you later. What do you got to say? Oh, he's only trying to alibi the girl. What were you doing at his birth last night? Your mistake. I wasn't near his birth. You didn't happen to hand him a cigarette, did you? I did not. Look here, Mac. Here's what I found in Chambers' fingers while I was snooping around. Compare it with her cigarettes. Let me have those cigarettes. This is one of your cigarettes, isn't it? Yes, but I didn't give it to him. Oh, you didn't give it to him. Hey, Mac, you were on the narcotic squad, weren't you? Yes, why? And smell that cigarette. Dope. What's your name? What's your name? Eileen Aylesworth. Yeah, but her real name's Maisie Wilson. Ever heard of her? Yeah. I thought there was something familiar about you. So you're Maisie Wilson. Why didn't you tip me off about this before? Because I'm a reporter, not a cop. When I saw it with Chambers, I smelled a good story. And besides, when I did try to tell you something, you shut me up. It looks like I'll have to arrest you for the murder of Chambers. You've got me wrong. I didn't kill him. I gave him a dope cigarette and lifted the bracelet, but I didn't kill him, I tell you. I didn't kill him. Oh, well, you expect me to believe that, eh? Come on, come clean. I tell you, I didn't kill him. I didn't. Well, if you didn't, I'd like to know who did. You might ask her. What's she got to do with it? That's Killer Delmar's wife. Delmar's wife? Yes, you stool pigeon. I'm Mrs. Delmar. What about it? Then Delmar must be on this train. Oh, no, he's not. Don't lie to me. He's on this train and you know it. Where is he? You're a smart copper. Find him yourself. <laughs>
all right, Mrs. Del Mar. You talk at headquarters. And I'm going to hold you for the murder of Chamber. You're wrong, Mac. Oh. Get back. Here's the guy that committed both murders. What do you mean, both? Sure, I bumped that rat chick because he double-crossed me. But that's all. Yeah? Well, who killed Chambers? I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Well, if you don't, your wife does. She was in the car when the crime was committed. And I'm going to hold her on suspicion. Martin. Are you going to let her take the rap for this? What do you mean? I never saw you before in my life. Never saw me before? Me and him did time in the big house together. You're crazy. We were cellmates. She told me all about this guy, Chambers. Chambers was the man that sent him up. You swore you'd get him. Well, you got him, didn't you? Now you're trying to pin the rap on my wife. Well, you can't get away with it, you yellow belly rat. There it is. That's how he got him. Give me that gun, Jimmy. Step out of there, Maisie. Come on, Miss. Get over there, Delmar. When we reach Frisco tomorrow, you're going to be a guest of the state again. Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? Maybe we won't reach Frisco. Huh. Something wrong. We should have stopped that last station for orders. Going too fast down this grade. Picking up speed every second. If we don't slow up before we get to the bottom, we'll never make that turn. You've got to stop it. He doesn't answer. Something's happened to the engineer. See you up. You're right. Something has happened to the engineer. He's dead. Delma, you've got to let me get down to that engine and sustain or we'll all be killed. Keep back. Nobody leaves this car. Well, kid, this will be a great story for your paper. But you ain't gonna write it. Copper, you're smart. Figure out some way to stop this train. Martin, you're lucky. You ain't gonna die in this wreck, because I'm gonna rub you out myself. Stand up, rat! No! Well, don't you worry, dear. I'll take care of you. Oh, we say it again. Somebody get some water. Honey, talk to me. Talk to me, honey. Oh. <laughs> Jimmy. Oh, honey, this is going to make a great story. Can't you see those headlines? Killer Del Mar recaptured after fierce battle on trade. Five men killed. Oh, baby, what a story. <laughs> Well, Mrs. Hawley, how do you like being married to the best little reporter in town? Great. And now Mrs. Hawley's husband is going right over to that telephone and call his editor and tell him that he's going on a two-week vacation. You said it, honey. I'm not going to let anything interfere with our honeymoon. Jimmy! Call that editor 
superintendent of the whole space for our school. 